Welcome to Thrive North America and CTIA's 5G Summit. It's great to team up with GSMA as we all adapt to COVID. 2020 is the year of adapting, and I couldn't be more proud of the role that wireless is playing. Americans are relying on us even more to connect with loved ones, colleagues, teachers, and doctors. Personally, I've been calling my 85-year-old dad on Sundays since college because, you know, long distance is cheaper on Sundays. Well, I finally got those calls to video. I also switched my doctor to one that offers video chats. And I can't wait for all those packages, lots of packages that I ordered on my phone to be delivered. When wireless was needed the most, we answered the call. And we did so much more. We created new programs to help first responders and healthcare workers, introduced efforts to get more Americans online, eliminated data overages and opened hotspots, and our Connected Kids Initiative helped hundreds of thousands learn from home. No surprise, our national carriers were in the top five in U.S. COVID response ratings. So impressive. Those same operators, alongside an ecosystem of innovators, aren't just helping us survive 2020, they're building for the future too, with 5G. It's so much more than a network. Boston Consulting Group just revealed that what we are really doing is building the 5G economy. They refocused us inward on what we need to do to have 5G jobs in 5G innovation take off here in the United States. That's important. Our industry is obviously global. We can never lose sight of spectrum deficits or supply chain inequities. We've just gotten a little carried away with China and the 5G race. So let's focus today on our 5G economy. We're off to a great start. The first commercial 5G deployments were here. The fastest 5G services are here. The first nationwide network was here. All remarkable in what will be a decade-long transformation. And as my dad always says, it's how you finish that really matters. I know we will finish strong. The 5G economy will flourish here because the wireless leadership we had navigating COVID can get us through anything. The same attributes that kept you connected this spring will drive us ahead. Three key things stand out to me. Investment. We were able to handle a year's worth of growth overnight thanks to $29 billion invested last year. The first and the fastest 5G is thanks to over $80 billion invested in the last three years alone. No industry invests like we do in America's future, year in and year out. The next piece is Spectrum. During COVID, other nations saw a significant drop in network performance. The U.S. actually saw speeds increase because of an infusion of new Spectrum. The COVID experience is further proof that more Spectrum equals better service for all Americans. The good news is, after years and years of hard work, we are getting the mid-band spectrum we need. Two major auctions, plus a commitment for another one next year. This is a big deal, all thanks to the great leadership by the FCC and the administration. To meet our 5G ambitions, we can't celebrate quite yet. We are now identifying the next set of low, mid, and high-band spectrum we'll need to drive tomorrow's innovation. The third attribute is our people, the four plus million workers in our industry. They went to work so that many of us could stay at home. They're our heroes. From call centers to field techs, they kept the signal on. Our teams are also out building for tomorrow. Construction of new sites doubled compared to last year. With more investment, more spectrum, and more jobs, we can do anything. But COVID has also reminded us that the digital divide has never been more stark. We can't look forward to our 5G future without making sure everyone is along for the ride. As a nation, 
We need to do more. It's incumbent on our industry, incumbent on the government. We all must help bridge affordability and adoption challenges. We don't have time to spare. The pandemic is happening now. The school year is here. The job interview is tomorrow. Let's be practical and resourceful. How do we get more Americans online to teach their kids, do their jobs, and talk to their doctors? We can't let another week go by without ensuring all Americans are connected. All Americans must benefit from the 5G economy. Over the next three days, we're excited to hear from key leaders from both industry and government who can make that a reality. I hope you enjoy CTIA's 5G Summit and make sure you check out the policy panels too. Thanks for joining us.